506 this Monday morning. It is Monday, so we're coming off of the weekend, getting back into the weekday work mode, trying to shake those Monday blues. Oh, yeah, and for some of us, it may be hard to make those adjustments without the proper amount of sleep. Sleep? What sleep? Mm. What is Fair that? Salais, <laughs> Epiphany Lachey joins us live from Texarkana to share how a good night's beauty rest can impact your health. Good morning. You're wide awake. Yeah, good morning, Dominique. Good morning, Bisky. Health officials say no matter what shift you work, you should be getting at least six to nine hours of sleep in order to be able to function properly. Now, they do advise that you turn off all electronics at least one hour before bedtime. You don't need to be active like watching TV or looking at your phone because that blue or white light can lead to bad sleep hygiene, which can cause health problems for your body. It is advised to do 150 minutes a week working out. That could be something moderate like running or walking and stay away from too much caffeine. Caffeine makes your body aware that you are awake, but it doesn't do anything for your daily performance skills. Of course, we would uh, quote our air crews that cross many uh, time zones, it takes about a day to get used to each hour of a time zone shift. So if you think about that, when you go from a day shift to a night shift, that's like 8 to 12 hours of uh, global travel. And so it's going to take you more than a week to get used to that. When you're going back and forth or having that weekend uh, switching, you're never really getting set into that circadian rhythm. And you should never result to over-the-counter medications like Benadryl or sleep aid. Health officials say it can become addictive. And the more you take them, the more your body is going to require a higher dosage. It takes about four to six weeks to wing yourself off them once you start taking them. Now, if anything, you could be taking melatonin. That is advised to take two hours before you go to sleep. Now, this is something that your body creates naturally, some more than others, and it is not addictive. Reporting live in Texarkana, Epiphany Lachey, KSLA. News 12.